Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to begin working with uh, this shop GY to get buttons that actually can purchase real items like shirts, t-shirts, and things like that. Uh, I don't think we'll get as far as actually buying anything yet, so um, sorry about that, uh, but we'll try. So let's go to starter GUI, shop GUI, frame, list page. Alright, so in this list page right now, all we're doing, if it comes up, oh my goodness, I didn't have to change the set, oh my, I am so shocked. Anyway, um... We're loading products, and what we're doing is we're going through a list of all of the products that are in, uh, I believe, lighting, right? Yeah. Um, and when we do this, we go through, and basically all we do is change its name according to the values we have, and purchase is where we really need to be worried. So, I want to show you guys how we're going to do this. All right, let's go to lighting. Shop products. Here's where everything is. We've got one through seven, which technically it's all the exact same thing as one, so I'm going to actually delete all of these because we don't need them. One has light as its value and then price, correct? Okay. So we're actually going to uh, insert a bool value into this one. And we're going to name it uh, in game. And we're going to set it to true. Now, the reason we're doing this is in game, what this value will do is when we go through the script, if it's true, we'll keep doing what we already are doing. If it's false, then we're going to assume, oh, they want to actually purchase this in real life. Um, in which case, what we're going to do is, or not real life on the real Roblox website, in which case we'll follow a slightly different procedure. Um, not a ton different, um, but a little different. And we're actually also going to feed in a string value, and this will be uh, not name, title works. Okay. Oh, no, not value. I don't want that there. Okay. Uh, now this title var variable is useless in the case that um, it is an in-game purchase. So that's why we're not changing it. We'll get to the title in a moment. Uh, for now, let's go back to the list price. And in this else, what we want to do is if uh, product oops, we're going to want to do this here. If product dot in game dot value then do this and however else list i dot 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 text equal and actually I wanna hmm. and we're gonna get rid of this print here button equals list I dot dot there. Uh, that way we can replace this with button and it makes a bit more sense. Button, button, button. Button dot text equals product uh, dot title dot value dot dot. Um, dot dot product dot price dot value dot dot robux uh, now I'm assuming it's going to be in robux you can also add another value for tickets uh, you can change this to tickets you can do anything you want but I'm assuming it's going to be robux right now okay so just assume it's robux that's what I'm doing you can do anything you want um, but like I said I'm assuming it's robux uh, button that visible equals true. All right, good. Next up, we're going to scroll down here, uh, and we're not actually going to make it work for purchasing things that are at, not in game yet. But um, well, first we're going to get rid of this print button ID. 
Um, but we are going to continue. Alright, so price. Okay. If product dot in game dot value then and that is where we tab all of this over. And now we'll add an else. And tomorrow, or hopefully tomorrow, if I can get a video out tomorrow, this is where we'll be putting our script to actually purchase items outside of your game. Um, there will be a little bit to work with here, uh, but it should be fun. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.